So how's it going, Makama Chet Army? We're here today with Damien Hussey, the creator of Gunpowder. How are you doing, Damien? I'm really good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming on so so late and so early for me. It's not you too know? bad. It's uh, coming up to 9 o'clock here, Saturday night, so it's not such a bad time to be doing this. That's not bad at all. It's 7 in the morning here. <laughs> not, not, not a bad time difference there, for sure. Um, what's the elevator pitch? For gunpowder. Uh, okay, super simple. My elevator pitch is Mad Max fighting demons. <laughs> I like it. I've gotten I... it down to be uh, very, very uh, straight to the point. Um, so, yeah, so it's a uh, post-apocalyptic film set in the future where it's also uh, demons have been released on, into the world and the battle is to send them back to hell before they take over the world. So it's kind of like an end of times uh, situation happening as well where they're stuck in this small town so it's got western vibes sci-fi vibes horror a whole bunch of different things going on are we following one character or are we following a group of characters for the most part we're following one character jacob uh so the original idea for the uh for the comic was based on a film script that i wrote uh over Yes, after coming out of film school and um i just kept revisiting it i kept going back and back to it and i wrote a um so I wrote the script and I shot a pitch trailer maybe eight, nine years ago or something now. And I just kept revisiting. It was too expensive to go and be able to do it like on a budget. So that's where I turned it, thought I turned it into the comic. So the story focuses around the main character, Jacob, um, and it's five, kind of broken into five different acts. So book one. And it also always wanted to be like a trilogy. So it would be each movie would be five issues so three separate books, which is kind of like how I kind of envision it. But for now, I'm going to be sticking to the first five. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, is writing a movie script and writing a comic book script, is it similar? Uh, similar. I mean, because you're still following like story conventions and structure and things like that. So all the same kind of story arcs. Um, I think there's a lot more freedom in doing comics to a degree. Um, because I can kind of, I'm not limited to a budget. It costs the same amount to draw to people having a chat or is it what uh, through a big battle. So that's kind of really cool and freeing, but the whole show don't tell thing, you've got to be so much more efficient. I've got one or two panels to try and convey so much more information than I might have to be able to really describe it in, in a story, in a film setting. So, um, the story is basically the same. But I've just had to find out, okay, what's the most important information here, which is probably going to, if I ever go revisit the script, it's a great um, process to have gone through because I'm, I can know what, what is really important and what's not, so I can make it even more efficient. But also this is allowing me to, um, to a degree, explore other characters and set up a lot more mystery for future issues as well so i can just drip feed bits of information here and there and if it is successful i'm like doing some flashbacks and i can do some spin-offs and all that kind of stuff so there's a lot more freedom but i mean it's just same same but different it's they're so similar but it's so different at the same time who is your artist for this book i'm looking at your kickstarter now and the art is awesome so for issue one uh ricardo Ficini. um so he um, he came aboard and yeah I love it. it's got like a really gritty vibe to it that really works uh, like so before coming into this I didn't really know anything about the whole comic world or anything like that so um, it was just something I was interested in I never had them I grew up in a small town we never had a comic shop or I never got into it and I had a friend who I'd worked with on films and he had released his own comic. And I was just like, oh, hey, just I'm curious. I've got this idea about turning into a comic. Like, we had a chat, and he's like, yeah, like, come on, come on board with you. They have free fall comics. And um, there's a few other people now. They're slowly bringing on other people into their, like, little community, which is good. So I'm, I was constantly just, uh, what do I? I do here and here, and he's like, oh, this is this panel and this gutter. I'm like, what does that mean? So I was just <laughs> learning as I was going. I'm like, just treat me like an idiot. Like, I'm not going to know these things. I'll learn as I go, and I'll pick your brain. And um, so it's a good uh, learning curve for, for me, and I, I really enjoyed it. And I'm getting to see the world come to life, like, in, in front of me. It's not taking $100 million. It's costing <laughs> me just all my savings, which is fine. <laughs> right. I hear that a lot, like – People say when they partner with the right artist and the artist can draw exactly what they're envisioning, I hear it's for not like it's it's an awesome feeling. 
yeah, I didn't. It, it was good to not really have to um, give too much like changes along the way. Like, um, so that may, maybe my, some of my naivety, I guess. But I, I was like, cool. You know what you're doing. I, I'll just describe what I want. And I, I wanted him to have a lot of freedom because, as I said, like I don't know kind of exactly how it's meant to be. So I just took his lead. And here and there, obviously, I would say, oh, I want this and this and s- small changes. But, but it was really good to. Um, yeah work with him um it went a little bit slower than what i um wanted but i mean we've got different uh you can work with people all around the world these days so he's working on a whole bunch of different things i'm working on other things as well and it takes takes as long as it needs to take so are you funding this all by yourself then the at this stage yeah so at this stage so i've paid for it all so for issue one it's completely done we're just putting all the thanks pages and stuff together now it's ready to go for print so kickstarter we did you go down the kickstarter route but that was basically for pre-orders um and then just for so i'm, I'm going to keep continuing um to pay for it all myself uh just because it's my project like i feel like i gotta put my money where my mouth is with it and then hopefully like i can just keep on making some of that money back uh down the track by selling it and then the more issues that come out i can still keep trying to sell the previous ones and in an ideal world, yeah, keep on making them forever and make some money on it at the same time. Is this going to be distributed through Diamond after you print it? Uh, Diamond, what's that? Um, Diamond or Lunar, it's like where you can get your comic books through a comic book store. Uh, I would love to. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Um, like I, Again, these are all new things for me um I, i'm part of a writers group here so like they've got all the uh they know how to go down the print on demand and things like that with um amazon so that's kind of like what i've been chatting to them about but if i could get into comic shops i would love to my plan was to literally have a whole bunch of x printed uh, extra copies printed when we get there and just take them into different comic shops around here myself and just do that but i'll jump on any opportunity that i can get or ask them could you hold uh like a signing. Yeah, you know? yeah. I've had people mention that as well. Like, do a bit of a Q&A and a signing there. Just, um, yeah, anything like anything that can get you out there and bring in some fans. And, yeah, like, it's not all about the money, but, like, we don't want to be out of pocket all the time either. Like, I'm doing it because, like, it's a story I want to tell. But, I can't, it's yeah, otherwise it's just an expensive hobby if you can't at least <laughs> make your money back. <laughs> yeah, you can play the whole angle of new creator giving advice to other creators you know yeah cool. and what, that's one thing i really do have found that's great about this whole community is most people are happy to help because everyone's to a degree figuring things out everyone's doing something for the first time so you can just go and ask yeah. go how did you do this and learn from other people's mistakes um and and things are also changing so fast too with like new platforms and again we can <laughs> connect to the rest of the world so easy um, so much easier than probably what 10, 15, minutes, 15 years ago. So it's it's really cool, like the possibilities. We just have to think outside the box to reach them. And it feels like every year that goes by, it's like a whole new class of creators, mm. you know? Yeah, 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 because I come more from the film world uh, more recently, and, uh, and I teach also, and it's kind of very similar because um, anyone can – do it and everyone has the resources everyone's got a computer and you can use photoshop or whatever but not everyone is like that shouldn't be something that's going to stop you from doing it everyone still wants them the end the, and the person who's going to read the end product still wants good stories so like it just means that we're opening up to a bigger market the competition mm. might have gone up but still just got to have a good, good good product in the end right um what advice would you give the new creators out there um yeah, definitely team up, or if not team up, um, find someone who's done it beforehand and just pick their brain first up, listen to their advice, um, and a few people if you can, because everyone's going to have come from their own experience, um, and just do it. Like, just don't wait. Don't wait for permission like for, for anything. Like There's nothing stopping you from just going and writing something. Don't wait, because then that wait could take a year or two, three, four years, and just go do it. If your first one's like – your first anything's never going to be the most amazing, I guess. Like it doesn't mean it's bad, but it can only get better. So if you want to perfect something like a thousand percent, like you could have gone and maybe potentially made a whole bunch of other things after that and keep learning more and more experiences from that. So yeah, my biggest piece of advice is just do it. Don't wait. Yeah. No one's going to give you permission. Just go and do it yourself. 
<laughs> so do you, are you going to be able to ship these books to the United States? Yeah, we're actually doing the printing in the US. Um, so we've got uh, one of our guys who do the lettering over there. He's teamed up with Freefall quite a bit. So he's going to do a lot of the printing there. And so he's going to send them back to us. We'll ship out the ones uh, outside the US. He's going to do all the shipping from inside the US. So it really helps, again, having some other people who are just want to help. Like most people have been through it. Like if you've got a little bit of experience and you're happy to help out other people who are keen because you know how hard it is. So that's it's great that it's someone is just willing to go, yeah, I'll, I'll jump on and do that for basically nothing. And the international shipping is nuts, you know? I can only mm -hmm. imagine what it would be to ship several comic boxes. Yeah, I mean, Lucas, um, the head guy at Free for Comics, he's done all the – he did all the calculations and everything, said, yeah, it's cheaper. We're just going to, like, print out a hundred of them over there send 100 back here, so then we've got some more here, and then we can just ship them individually from here. But it's not it's not cheap. And then plus you've got the packaging and just the time as well, so it's just one of them things. But you want to, to get to the people in good condition. You don't want to cheap out on that for an extra 50 cents each or something. It's, I want it to get there, <laughs> and people will be happy with what they've got. Are you, are you doing like a a good card stock cover? Yeah, so we've got um, – uh, yeah, I'm not sure of, like, the, the details of all of it, but we're, we're, we're chucking in a whole bunch of other stuff as well. We've got some prints and some stickers and some just other rods and ends, which, like, the Kickstarter opened up. And, yeah, we'll just throw a few other things in as well. Like we, we did do an um, alternate cover as well um, that was pretty cool. So there's two different types of – a variant cover, I should say. Um, so there's – yeah. And then eventually when I get the first five – issues done i do want to release it then um as a single book and probably do a hardcover there as well and then uh when the all three of them ideally get done then we can do a big one a really big like a combined three books in one like an omnibus omnibus yeah I've, I've been discovering all this over the past like two years i've got all the walking deads and stuff now that my whole shelves are covered in comic books which i haven't gotten through yet but if you like The Walking Dead, if you should check out um, Preacher. I've seen the first season, um, and, yeah, I feel like that's something that I should – it's got elements of, like, the whole Western kind of craziness going on in yes. there. So, yeah, I probably should really check that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a really good read. Um, do you have Comic-Cons planned this year? Um. So we just had a Gold Coast um, over here. There is a Comic-Con that does come here. I'm not sure when the Comic-Con is. We have a thing called Supernova, which is very similar. It's a um, pop culture. They have comics and everything. But it's the Brisbane one that's coming up in November. We booked in to get into the alley there, which is where all the independent artists are. And they close up submissions in September, but it's already booked out. So we're on the wait list to get in so we just missed out somehow i think it's just so popular so we'll be getting into everyone from here on in hopefully get in nice and early um chat i just drew a blank oh what social medias are you on sorry yeah oh the socials um so we have facebook instagram's the biggest one that we've been probably pushing like for the most part um i was pushing it pretty hard last year and then we had some delays so kind of held off a little bit um but yeah, Instagram, I've, this is how I've been kind of um, following what's happening as well myself, just diving into that, seeing other artists work, um, and also just the websites. So Freefall's got its own website. Um, got some stuff on YouTube as well, but not a whole bunch there. Um, the original, like, uh, pitch trailers and stuff's all on YouTube, mm. and we've done vertical ones now because everything's vertical and horizontal for Instagram, which is, <laughs> as a filmmaker, it hurts, but I've just accepted it now. So, dead or alive, who would you like to make a comic book with? Have you read Have you read enough comic books that you? I don't really think I know enough about it all. I mean, okay, obviously you've got the whole um, like Stanley being the biggest one. Like, I mean, because I come from the film side, I love how that, and obviously Walking Dead as well, how they have been adapted. I, th I love that that is such a great thing because you basically got the storyboards done for mm. any kind of film adaptation which has kind of been a not a goal but it would be a 
amazing thing if we could do that with gunpowder to go down, turn it into a movie or other kind of books or any kind of adapted in other forms. Um, so, I mean, definitely like crossovers could work in like the uh, Walking Dead universe. Something could happen there. Um, so, yeah, that is probably I, I don't I couldn't I don't know enough yet. I'm just kind okay. of learning more about like the whole world as i said like I, I talk to my friends all the time who are in this now i'm so jealous i never got into comics as a kid just didn't have the opportunity so i'm, <laughs> I'm late to the game yeah all right but well then we'll change the question um dead or alive who would you like to make a film with Ooh, who would i like to make a film with um uh, this could be controversial <laughs> maybe not um tom cruise all right, his work ethic on set, where you just see him running around going crazy and that he's producing his own films and getting to star and, and be an action star at the point that he's at, and he was keeping films going through COVID and everything like that, like, that would be amazing just to work with someone at that level. Um, and he's kind of reinvented himself after his Scientology stuff maybe like 15 <laughs> years ago. So he's kind of all of that. Who cares? Like You just see him. He's just got a great work. I think he's putting out good quality quality content as well so i'd love to work with yeah tom cruise or someone at that level but i just love making movies and telling stories in any form right is there anything you want to say before we go um any other questions you would normally ask um that it's good to get out um yeah is there anything anything you want to tell us that i didn't cover um yeah, hopefully, like, so my, my, my goal is, as I said, like, five issues total. Like, I would love to get them all done by the end of next year and then c- continue probably doing three per year after that. And so it's kind of hectic, but, like, for me, I don't really see that there's any reason to, to wait. So I just want to get them out there, hopefully get built up a following um, of people who, like, enjoy the story and um also getting feedback i I love feedback from people as well saying hey i like this i like that um or don't like Mm. things that's also good as well i don't want to react too much but um yeah just like i really enjoy telling stories and probably for the most part telling the story that i want to tell which i think that's kind of where most people come from you don't want to like go and change your um what's personal to you too much for the market but you've got to have that in the back of your mind so um yeah hopefully just when it does come out and whoever gets to read it uh just really does like it how how many issues are you ahead that you've already written? I've written the first five. So the first five yeah. are all, all written, and obviously I'll polish them as we go through before each one, and I've got really good outlines then for the next two, and there's like slight time jumps in between each one as well. So like there's I've got yeah, the outlines, but the first five issues are completely written. Sweet. I um, appreciate you taking the time to come talk with me. No problem. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, man. Thank you. What? You mean you haven't subscribed to Comic Chat Authority? Oh, come on. Subscribe already. What are you waiting for? It's no big deal. Like, man, don't forget to tell him to hit that like button. Yeah, yeah, that too. Just subscribe.